Poncho, you're kind of making a mess of your food in there. Poncho, the birthday rooster. With a title like that, you might think there's a cute story here. There is. Jose gave me a call yesterday. He owns a landscaping and tree service business that has done a lot of work for us over the years. Jose's family... Jose's family has chickens, but they're all hens. His son has asked for a rooster for his birthday. We happen to have a few roosters in our flock, so I'm happy to help him out. The rooster that's going to a new home didn't have a name. Poncho is what they came up with. As fun as it might have been watching me chase around the chicken run trying to catch a rooster, I opted to do the sensible thing. I waited until well after dark and set up this animal carry cage with food and water. It was very easy to just grab that sleepy chicken right off of his roost. I'm not sure exactly when they're coming over to take Poncho home, but he'll be safe in there for a while. Until then, I've got a few things I'd like to take care of out here before it starts raining again. My chipper shredder is back from the shop, so I can finally take care of this pile of branches. I'd also like to attach the decorative branches to the compost bins that I just recently finished. But first, Wendy got some gooseberry and currant. Bushes for me to plant along with a new fig tree.
He made it, Brian. All right. Hey, Jose, good to see you. Nice. nice to see you, Brian. So <laughs> what's your son's name? I'll present him to you. Hey. Brian. Hi. I present you, Brian. Brian, that's an awesome name. That's my name. <laughs> <laughs> And this is Emily. Hey, Emily. How you doing? Good. All right. Yeah, what made you want a rooster for your what birthday? What do you want a rooster? Uh, for my hens. Yeah. Yeah, give them company and have a more of a more of a real chicken life that way, I guess. <laughs> very good, very yeah, good. Yeah, he wants a rooster. How old are you? Uh, ten. Ten years old. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Well, I've got it separated out yep. here already. Whoops. So I picked out the uh, the prettiest rooster for you. Nice. Want to take a closer yeah. look? <laughs> nice. I wish I could tell you what kind it is. Yeah. I don't actually know. Chances are it was one of our own hatched eggs because if you uh, hatch your own, you get half roosters. Yes. Yep. Ben, ben. Lots of roosters. <laughs> the one with the poofy head? His, his name's Wally. <laughs> Wally. <laughs> well, I was thinking if uh, if it fits in your truck, yeah, I could let you borrow this uh, carry case. And then just uh, you text me your address. I'll come and get it. You know, in a couple of days, next week, whatever. He brought a box. Oh, you got something yeah, to work. A little, little box. Okay. Yeah, that's a good size rooster. How old is he? Do you know? A uh, couple of years old at least. Couple years old. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. He has his. Uh, what do you call these? Little spurs. The spurs. Yep. Are those to be uh, trimmed back or or no? You know, I haven't worried about it. This chicken. <clears throat> this rooster uh -huh. has uh, coexisted with other roosters, uh -huh. so his his temperament is pretty mild. Okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> You're looking at that hairy one. That's funny. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> that's the funniest chicken. Go get your box, bro. Yeah, grab your box. <laughs> you guys heading straight home? Yeah. Okay. I'll give you a hand here. It's gonna be a tight fit in this little box for you. <laughs> yeah, it's only like three minutes away. Okay. Come on. It's all right. It's all right. Thing shut. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Dale un abrazo. Thanks. Well, roosters are really the most uh, most personality that you'll have in a chicken. So it'll be fun. He'll probably be a little more dominant once he's the only rooster. Yeah. He kind of rules the, yeah. the roost. Yeah. Okay. Well, I wanted to mention one other thing. Uh -huh. Your parents have probably told you this. Whenever you handle chickens or even the unwashed eggs, it's a good idea to wash your hands pretty soon after. Because, you know, you don't want to rub your eyes or anything after the, after touching all that. Yeah. Chickens are not real clean animals. Yeah. Nice, nice to wash your hands. And that's a beast of a rooster. See that? <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty good size one. You know, he, he walks them. Walk, you take him. He, he lets them out and he shepherds them. Nice. And then he grabs each each individual one and puts them back into the pen. Oh, you're good at it then. <laughs> yeah. So now, uh, I, I try to keep mine contained because I have to chase them around if they get out. <laughs> <laughs> now he lets them out so they can eat, you know, grass and you know, worms and whatever they can find. Free range is a more economical way to go. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, he stays with them and 
he watches over them for what half an hour? An hour? How long do you let them roam around? Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Recess. Okay. Chicken recess. <laughs> <laughs> yep, he's out there every single day with a chicken. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Thank yep, you so appreciate much. it. See if you can carry him, otherwise I'll help you. Got it. All right. Okay. Nice. <laughs> you have to put a bow on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Appreciate it. Brian seems like a very responsible young man. I'm sure Poncho will be going to a good new home. I'm pretty sure he's interested in breeding his own chickens. Poncho is a very good looking chicken and not aggressive, so he'll be a good one for that. I'm pretty sure Poncho had a close up starring role in a previous video of ours called Big Little Chickens Grew Up Fast. I'll send Jose a link to that video so Brian can check it out if he wants. It did end up raining before I could get to the chipping and shredding, but that's okay. We have plenty of good content for this video. Thanks for watching.